Good day everyone, today is Thursday, July the 14th. My name is Rafi Brajan, currency analyst at XM.com, here to provide you with your Forex news update. The dollar continued its recovery against the yen on Thursday as it climbed to its highest since June 24, when the shock outcome of the UK's EU referendum caused turmoil in financial markets. The greenback surged above 105 yen in Asian trading today as expectations of fresh stimulus in Japan puts pressure on the Japanese currency. The pound was also firmer on Thursday as traders took comfort from the swift appointment of Theresa May as the new British Prime Minister, which ends some of the uncertainty surrounding Britain's post-Brexit future. However, the appointment of several Brexiteers in May's new cabinet did raise some concern, pushing the pound down to $1.31 at the start of Asian trading before rebounding back above $1.32 in late session. Sterling will likely remain volatile for the rest of the day as the Bank of England is widely expected to cut interest rates by 25 basis points to a new record low of 0.25% when it announces its decision at 11 hours GMT. Some analysts are also expecting that the bank will signal an expansion of its quantitative easing program in August. The Australian dollar was boosted today by a surprise jump in Australian full-time employment in June, which was seen as a sign of strengthening jobs market. Total employment rose by less than expected, though pushing the unemployment rate up from 5.7% to 5.8% in June. The Aussie jumped from around 0.7590 against the US dollar to 0.7638 after the data. It was a different story for the New Zealand dollar, though, which saw a sharp sell-off after the Reserve Bank of New Zealand made a surprise announcement that it will provide an unscheduled update on its economic assessment on July 21st. The news raised expectations that the RBNZ will downgrade its forecasts next week to pave the way for a rate cut in August. The Kiwi tumbled to just below 0.72 against the greenback in immediate response, but managed to rebound partially to 0.7227 in late Asian session. Crude oil prices gained back 1% in Asian trading today after slumping over 4% yesterday on the back of a smaller than expected fall in US crude stocks, according to the US Energy Department. WTI oil futures were last trading at $45.42 a barrel. Coming up later today, the Bank of England's policy decision is expected to be the main event of the day, but the weekly jobless claims and producer prices out of the US will also be watched. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.